Greetings. It is Monday, July 27th. Update on COVID cases here in Dallas County. It's all over the place. It's, one day is really high, another day it's lower. I'm, today actually was like 400 and some cases, which is the lowest it's been like in a month. But then it could be an outlier because yesterday was the record-breaking highest day ever. So who knows? This is just up and down and everywhere. So nothing yet to... Re I think we're putting a lid on it, honestly, but not necessarily going down. Which brings me to what am I going to do later on this year? Normally, I go on vacation right over New Year's. I have this tradition of going out on New Year's Eve to a different city to experience the New Year's. Um, my previous Larry Grossclose and I, I once surprised him on his 40th birthday with a surprise trip to New Orleans. And from that point on, we just got in the habit of every New Year's going to have someplace and celebrating New Year's, except for the Y2K. Uh, we stayed in Dallas because we were, we didn't know if something would go wrong. We weren't paranoid that the world was going to end. But if we flew anybody anywhere, we just didn't want to avoid, we wanted to avoid in case there was a something. But yeah, I did this every year. And then when we split up, um, I wanted to keep traveling on New Year's because it kind of became a tradition for me to go someplace different on New Year's. So I went to Chicago to visit some of my family up there and uh, spent New Year's Eve there and had a wonderful time. It was difficult because it was my first New Year's after, you know, 18 years or 19 or however many years it was together that we spent New Year's. Because even after we split up we actually we remained friends so we actually still did a trip on new year's anyway um but it was the first time i traveled by myself for new year's and i loved it it was great it was midnight i was in the chicago pier the fireworks was short but spectacular and i remember i never really paid attention to the song of katie perry's fireworks and it played, and the fireworks were coordinated. So it went boom, boom, boom. Of course, fireworks, da, 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 da. Moon, moon, moon. And there was like these moon fireworks. Anyhow, it was pretty impressive. And I remember the, having this cathartic moment. So every year I go on, on a trip on New Year's. Uh, but that'll be a story unto itself because I've had some great and wild experiences on New Year's. But then the other time I go on vacation for just a road trip or something is after my birthday. Um, my birthday is September 10th, and I go... Someplace, usually at the end of September, mid-September, go someplace, just do a quick road trip someplace. My big trip is, you know, New Year's, and then my smaller trip is right after my birthday. So I was trying to think of where I have to go, and but of course, COVID-19 is affecting everything. And I went to Houston for New Year's this year, so um, definitely don't want to go down the coast again, because I just did that. So I was trying to think of where to go for my birthday, and here's some options. So it's a road trip. It'll be gone for seven to ten days. Uh, I'll have the dog with me. <laughs> so I was thinking, I've been to um, Santa Fe, loved it. I could go back there again. Um, I have been to Big Bend, but I haven't been there in about 20 years. And at the end of September, it's cooler. And I could take the dog as long as I stay on trails. Um, then I was thinking, i really love to do the Devil's River in Texas, but it's so far remote. And... You have to have a guided tour down it, and it's not that expensive, but it is so far and remote to get to, um, and uh, you have to have a minimum of several, like, I think four people to travel down that river, and nobody's traveling to that part of the world, uh, but I've driven next to the river. It's spectacular scenery, the Devil's River in Texas, but I've always wanted a boat down it, but that's not, I know I looked in that, it's not feasible right now. Then I was thinking maybe I'd go to Rocky Mountain National Park near Denver, Colorado, up in the Rockies. I've never really done that. Uh, the other option, and I love doing this place, is go to Hot Springs, Arkansas, and maybe up to Eureka Springs. There's a highway, the Wilhelmina Highway, that was created just for its scenic beauty that runs from um, Oklahoma, central Oklahoma, not Oklahoma City, into Arkansas. And there's a small highway in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing between point A and point B. But it is one of the most spectacular drives in the country. It's kind of like Highway 1 in California that just hugs the coast. This goes on the ridge of the Ozark Mountains. So you have these canyon views that are spectacular. And if you go at the end of September, you're seeing all the leaves change. So the foliage is amazing. Um, I did that a few years ago and loved it. And Hot Springs is kind of cool. Um, 
Then I was thinking, I have not been to Kansas City in ages. And that's, you know, a day's drive, a long day's drive up to Kansas City. It's a very cool city. If you've never been, you deserve to go because it is a fabulous city, or at least it was when I visited. I visited multiple times. It's actually once I went on vacation up there. If you went to Kansas City on vacation, it's like, yeah. It's a very cool city. Great, but this if you're into the arts, because it has great museums and great public art. Um, it's just a very cool city. So that's another option. The other option is go down to Louisiana and go to New Orleans. I have done New Orleans. So in fact, I'm actually wearing a New Orleans t-shirt. You can barely see it. It's so faded now. Um, but I've done that multiple, multiple, multiple times. I don't know how much fun New Orleans is with COVID, especially with the problems in Louisiana and in New Orleans. Um, you know, that's a party place and everything's going to be closed because I'm not the biggest partier, but that's you kind of do walk down Bourbon Street, you hit a bar here and there. And that, you know, I was thinking New Orleans would be fun because I've done all the tours, but then I've already done all the tours. And so anyhow, it's a party city and I don't think the party's really happening there. So I'm debating as to where to go. Uh, I've been down to Corpus in North Padre Island. That's really pretty. Um, but there's really not much to do there. And it's kind of like out of the way. And I don't know how much will be open if there's anything open down in that area with, with COVID. So it's trying to figure it out. So if you have any suggestions of where should Mark Bryan Sona go on a road trip after his birthday, like a week after towards the end of September, mid-September, end of September, put your comments down below. Or I might do what I did one time in which I flipped a coin. I go north or I go south. I flipped the coin and then it said to go south. I ended up taking a trip that took me down to um, San Antonio, crossed over to uh, Galveston, took me to Houston, but not a, like a straight shot. I was going through Victoria, Texas, <laughs> because I, whenever I get to like a major interstate or a major highway junction, I was flipping the coin, literally flipping a coin. Do I go that way or go I that way? And I just let it take me. And then I was making hotel reservations daily as to where I was in a state. It was funny because I remember Galveston. They were like, because every day say, I flipped the coin like for three days. It's just told, it came out heads that it meant staying, stay or go. That was that if heads was stay in place or tails was go to the next location and then flip a coin as to which direction that was going to be. And it came out three days in a row of heads. So I booked the hotel one day for one night and the following morning I flipped the coin and it booked it for another. I was, okay, I'm staying one more night. And I flipped the coin and it's like, okay, I'm staying one more night. And the front desk is like, why is this man just booking one night at a time? You know, and it's like, and I explained what I was doing. They went, well, that's a kind of a cool vacation. And then they reached a point where it was like, okay, I have to head on back to Dallas. But I let randomness decide where I went. So maybe I should just do that, be random and go north, south, east, or west. And yeah, give me your thoughts. What's a good place to go for like a seven to 10 day getaway that's driving distance? I, I was thinking I'd go to Yellowstone, but that's 1,300 miles. And that would take me... Technically, you can drive it in two days, but it would kill me to get up there in two days. And I've got a dog. So I want to take it more leisurely. So where should I go? I actually went to Oklahoma City once for vacation. That was kind of fun. Uh, that was a kind of a random thing because the river walk in San Oklahoma City is beautiful. Um, anyway, let me know. Put your opinion. Please opine. Thank you. All right. So please like, subscribe, ring the notification bell. If you like this video, you think I'm cute. Even if you don't think I'm cute, still like it. Um, and if you watch this video tonight, have a good evening. If you watch it tomorrow, have a good morning or good afternoon. And please, put your comments down below. Where should I go? Give me an idea that's driving distance. Something surprise me. Something out of the out of the ordinary that you may have experienced that you think I should experience. I'm pretty adventurous. I can go city and stay in hotels, and I can go roughing and camping. I've got all the camping gear, too. So, all right. Bye. Bye.